This is Stephanie Barnes, and this is episode 30. Yay, episode 30 um, of my Brick Wall Chat series. And today's topic is augmented reality or virtual reality in an AI in language learning. So why does this come up? This comes up because for a little better than three years, uh, almost three and a half, uh, I have been making a concerted effort to learn German and have tried out lots of different platforms and applications to try and help me learn German. Um, In-person classes are not my thing. Um, so I knew that from when I took French in, in school, in public school, in high school. Um, and I did try a German in-person class at one point when I was still in Toronto. Not my thing. I've tried Rosetta Stone. I've tried books. i tried a tutor. Um, I tried, I worked through the whole du Duolingo tree. I worked through the whole Bobble tree it, that took me up to B1 level. I did um, Lingua TV up to the end of the B2.2 course. Um, at the end of August of 2019, that was, I finished that. I have had lots of tandem partners over the last three and a half years. Um, some have worked really well and some haven't. Um, and some just ghosted me. Um, so yeah, some interesting experiences there. It's always a bit of a challenge to find tandem partners um, and to, um, yeah, then have to schedule time with them. Um, we often end up speaking more English, um, and that's partly my fault because I get frustrated with my German. Um, so yeah, some problems, problems there. The best tandem partner I have, um, I've been working with her for a year and a half. She doesn't speak any English. So when we meet for tea once a week, we have to speak German because she doesn't speak any English. So if I don't know the words, I have to look it up in Google Translate or figure out a different way to say what I want to say. And the conversations take a while, um, but I struggle through, we struggle through. We have a good laugh sometimes. Um, there was a, a time this, this fall of 2019 that um, I, it took me 25 minutes to relate a story of something that had happened on the weekend, and then she wanted to make sure that she understood what had happened and so said it back to me, you know, paraphrase or whatever, and, and said it back to me, it took her all of about two minutes. Um, where it had taken me 25 um, yeah so but so this is how things go but but I'm really grateful for her help um, and I know that I wouldn't be where I am um, without her help working with me for the last year and a half she's very very patient <laughs> which is good she's used to working with kids um, and I'm sorry that this is all in English and she's not going to be able to watch it and understand <laughs> so how much I appreciate her help. Anyway, all of this is to say that I have some experience about the ups and downs of language learning and I've got to a fairly advanced level um, on, my, on my own working with various applications. So I went to, I have some ideas about how to use AI, virtual reality, augmented reality, to help people learn a language, um, especially people like like me, um, and there's lots. There are people like me out there, and I think there's other people that would benefit from from some of my learnings. At least I hope there are. Um, I suspect there are. Having talked to some other language learners here in Berlin, and um, yeah, and and so I approached a couple of people. At a, at a meetup, they were um, founders of a couple of different uh, language learning applications, and they completely dismissed my experience um, and, yeah, told me that, yeah, that I was wrong, basically. Um, so nothing like having your experience invalidated. Um, so didn't appreciate what I was trying to offer them or explain about my my experience like I say I know I'm not the only one um, and there's a lot and uh, and I know other people who have been in my position who have just given up I'm not giving up well I'm not giving up on learning German um, I might give up on trying to get any kind of AI or virtual reality thing going with with language learning um, unless I can put together a business case and, and a business plan and get some funding of my own and, and develop it on my own which is still an idea I'm toying with 
Um, and certainly I was annoyed enough after this talk with these um, founders to, to make me seriously consider it, but um, it's still in the back of my mind. Anyway, I think that there is a place for for it. My big, my big thing is around not necessarily replacing human interaction and, and like tandem partners, but providing another another source of interaction, another way to speak. I'm very careful about and cautious and reserved in in speaking with people because I tend to be a bit perfectionistic with with trying to get words out of my mouth and I want it to be perfect um which it's never going to be I just need to get the words out but but I think having the technology there that would respond to the words um and understand the words and be able to speak back to me in a virtual reality kind of setting would be really helpful and would help me bridge the gap in finding tandem partners, it also reduces the, the the risk of you know meeting tandem partners. Part of the the challenge with finding tandem partners has been that the men tend to treat it like it's a dating app or a dating yeah a way to meet women to date. Um, and any of the women I've talked to are not interested in that. We just want to learn the language. Um, so someone actually created a group here in Berlin that's just for women to find tandem partners among other women um, and without the harassment, um, which was has been nice and, and useful. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's some of my thoughts on the challenges of language learning and potential place for AI, virtual reality, um, augmented reality in, in it. Um, happy to expand more if anybody's interested. Um, or if you want to work with me on this, putting this idea together and maybe getting some funding and, and moving it forward, because I think the technology, based on what I have read in this book that I talked about in one of my earlier videos, <laughs> I think the technology is pretty close. Um, and I think we should be looking at it. Um, as yeah as another means to facilitate language learning anyway i better end this is seven minutes this is way too long um thanks for listening this long and i hope you've enjoyed it and this is stephanie barnes from intellikey and this was episode number 30 in my brick wall chats thanks bye